Hi, this is Jim Wachtel here with the Bellevue Economic and Tourism Association. I've got Loris Herrick, City Administrator for the City of Bellevue with me, and Virgil Murray, the Mayor of the City of Bellevue. And we want to talk uh, real briefly about why Little Old Bellevue has this high-tech fiber optic network system. So Virgil, uh, would you give us a little bit of background on this system and, and why Bellevue has it? Well, Bellevue did own an analog television system. And we wanted to continue remaining in the television business, and we saw the federal government mandating everything was going digital. And we also had a community that was unhappy with our signal and our picture. We had a picture in the analog side that was snowy, continually deteriorating. So we decided that we wanted to take a look at keeping something for our people, staying in the television business, and providing them with a very good signal. That's very cool. How, how long has Bellevue been providing these services to the community? Oh, probably 15 years. About 1994. Okay. Well, that was a very forward thinking to stay in the business and to uh, set up a fiber optic system to del deliver those services along with telephone and internet services. What uh, uh, Loris, did uh, Bellevue have the resources in-house to engineer this system, put it all together, or did you use some consultants? Is it just patched together? How, how did that work? We really were dependent on our consultants, and after searching for consultants across the country, we came up with a company called Black & Beach out of the Kansas City area uh, that came in and analyzed our existing system and then gave us some recommendations. And when we first started this process, actually fiber to the home, was sort of a dream for us. We thought we would end up with some type of hybrid fiber coax system. We didn't think we could justify a fiber to the home system. Uh, but as Black & Beach analyzed it and showed us what we could do, uh, we bought into the idea that we could go total fiber to the home, and we're really glad we did. And uh, our customers have been very pleased with the fiber capacity. Uh, we know that the fiber to the home is something that, that we will not outgrow in the near future. We really built for the future with that. Excellent. Part of the reason for selecting Fiber 2 at the time was a little bit forward thinking, but we saw the digital age came upon us very quickly, and we thought that Fiber would prepare us for more than just a very short time. We wanted to be prepared for a long time, and we figured that was a long-term investment for our community. One of the things the consultants told us was they were relatively sure that there would be no decrease in demand for broadband capacity, and they knew it was to continually grow. And if we would build a system for 2008 or 2009, we would be almost antiquated before the system came online. And so that's why we spent more money than we initially envisioned, uh, but we thought it was an investment in the future. That makes sense, and you would uh, probably agree that, or uh, I guess this is more of a question, this system is, is uh, very scalable, so the services you're delivering now are really just the tip of the iceberg. That's true. Uh, you know, basically the system, the only uh, limiting factor of the system right now is the electronics. Uh, which we put in state-of-the-art state electronics when we build it. But as, again, uh, things improve and technology changes, we can change out the electronics in the system. Uh, the fiber will always have the capacity, and we can upgrade additional capacity by upgrading the electronics in it. Great. And you've got essentially fiber to every address in the city, or if it's not there, it can uh, be installed in a very short period of time because the existing infrastructure is uh, throughout the community. We have uh, people on board. We've actually train our own staff so that they can do the splicing, we have the equipment to take care of it, so if a new house is built, we can easily deliver the fiber right to a new home without much interruption at all. We've actually put ONTs or optical network terminals on every structure in town, even if the person at this time wasn't prepared to be our customer. Uh, we said uh, we'd like to put it on their structure and they've given us permission. So. Basically, every house has an ONT on it. Every business has an ONT on it, so they're ready to go. Well, again, that's very cool. I think that's probably way over my technological head, but I <laughs> know I like the system at my house and uh, uh, feel that uh, that's uh, one of the reasons we uh, are so uh, enamored with this great little community and uh, look forward to staying here. We also think, uh, and I'm sure you would agree, that uh, given that uh, visionary leadership here at the city, and the fact that uh, the fiber is, is pretty much at every location uh, and every, every address in the community, this would be a great spot for Google to come and do a test uh, program of the fiber to the home. So uh, we'd love to hear from you, and uh, thanks for taking time to watch our video and uh, allow us to participate in your process. Any last comments, guys? 
just want to thank Google for considering us. And uh, I would say that other towns surrounding Bellevue have already contacted us and would like to be part of that growth process too. So in working with Bellevue, Google not only gets a small town of Bellevue, uh, they could basically tie into a whole county if they wanted to at some point. And we would like to welcome Google. Uh, it's becoming a household name everywhere in America. It might as well be in the heartland. One, uh, actually one last comment that I just uh, thought of as we were uh, trying to close the video here. How many other towns uh, of our size or even larger in, in the U.S. do you think have the capability that uh, Bellevue uh, had the foresight to install here? The last I knew there was probably only 10 towns that had gone to the extremes we have gone to. Uh, it's, it's even more difficult in a larger metropolitan area to do what we've done. Uh, you couldn't imagine a Chicago or Detroit being able to say they have fiber to the home in every residency in town. Uh, so I'm not sure. I think 10 was the last number I've heard that have done a total deployment like we did. Great. Well, again, thanks, guys, and uh, thanks for watching our video. We'd uh, love to have Google come and visit uh, Bellevue, Iowa on the mighty Mississippi. Thanks.